Well, first of all, we are a microstate. Publishing houses are not like spread all over the islands, so clearly the whole context is different. But, um, but mainly, I would say for the entire region, there are, there are less rigid boundaries, first of all, in terms of genre. So you don't hear people talking about women's Caribbean literature. You don't hear people talking about um, Caribbean speculative fiction. We have literature, and it may be literature that's written by a woman, or mostly about women, or with speculative aspects. And it's really treated in a, in a more, I guess you could say, a more holistic fashion. So you don't quite have that kind of putting things into boxes, categorizing to the point where you can't you know, look outside the category. And I do appreciate that categorizing is important for marketing. <laughs> and maybe, maybe the reason why we can get away with it a little is that a lot of our books are really just marked as Caribbean literature, and that's our box. So I, I admit that's, that's a possibility as well. But there's also the aspect of um, how does our society view what women write, and how does our society view science fiction and fantasy. And I do think that there's a, a bit more gentleness there. I just want to share with you, I was at um, our inaugural Biblet Fest a couple of years ago, and um, I don't know if you know Austin Clark. He is based in, in Canada at the moment, but he was, he was there with us because he is um, from Barbados. He is Barbadian. And he said that he is always asked in Canada, how is it that he's able to write um, female characters so well? And he said this is a question that's always baffled him because, um, you know, he talks about growing up and, um, you know, kind of helping his mother around the house and even when he was in Canada deciding to become a writer and then in a sense becoming a bit of a house husband and, and just having experiences which allowed him to understand what it could be like to, you know, be a housewife, to be taken care of a child and so on. And these were not experiences that he felt that he was walled off from just because of his gender. So um, I do think that there are people, um, there, there, there are parts of our culture where men feel that they have been as open to the experiences of women as women have been aware of the experiences of men and are therefore as able to not only appreciate them as readers but also um, to be able to express them as writers.